All right, we're back, man. Rabbit Season Podcast. We're back to being uh, consistent every single week uh, in the East Side Studio. As always, I'd like to introduce, though, uh, today's guest, fellow 626 representer right here, uh, a.k.a. my rap nephew, a.k.a. Uh, Nami Nams, man. My boy Namik right here, man. Thanks for coming through, my boy. You already know. It's yeah. like my fucking second home right here anyway. So yeah. Nothing. We always joke about it. I, I don't know if you forgot how to get here or not. So. I always text the address to him just <laughs> yeah, in case. Just in case. Just huh? yeah. <laughs> Send him the fucking uh, Google Map link and all that shit just in case. I hey, still need it sometimes. You're, you're right down the street, though, man, and uh, we joke around about it. But, yeah, um, you know, um, let's just start there in general because, w- unfortunately, we don't get to say uh, talk about this area enough. Um, you know as well as I do, there's a couple cats that are known from the area, man, and we'll we'll get to it in a little while. But um, it's never really been consistent, and it's never really been pushed too strong. Yeah. Um, the area, as far as like you know, either radio plays or just being represented in general. Um, it's well, like the part of LA County that gets represented the least. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, yeah. And yeah when you put it that way, because you got like your IE and your and your uh, like Orange County, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. and then like, I feel like those, even though um, you know there, there's been rappers here from a lot of years ago too, like that, that got a couple you know some spins on the radio and everything like that. But um, I always felt it's been kind of underrepresented. Uh, what's your take on that in our area? Let them know, man, where you're at and all that stuff, man. Oh uh, yeah, shit. Right now, we in uh we in the beautiful city of Covina, dog. You know, yeah. six two six re- representatives since day one, homie. Born in West Covina. Uh huh. You know, now we just vibing out. We, we staying in the city, Irwindale, Baldwin Park, as we saw that good shit. And um, it feels good to rep it, dog. I'm, I'm proud to rep this shit. I, I've been repping this shit since I started rapping, dog. You know, walking down, rolling in Azusa, Lark Allen, all these fucking streets and shit, and just doing my thing, freestyling with the big homies. Yeah, all yeah, that good yeah. shit. Yeah, uh, is that how it is that how it kind of started for you, um, as far as getting into hip hop? Yeah, yeah, With freestyling. Very, very, very influenced by the big homies, you know, at, at that time, like seventh, eighth grade. Yeah, yeah. That's when I really started, like when I was introduced to like underground hip hop and shit like that. Uh-huh. The two Mexes, the Living Legends, the Psycho Realms, uh-huh. the Abstract Rules, and everybody like that, and. And it's that cra- shit kind of like changed my motherfucking life, dog. You know. And what and what's crazy is we'll we'll get back into relationships, you know, that you've built and all that in a sec. But what's crazy is saying that um, you probably didn't think back then when you were, you know, feeling that vibe with some of the artists that you named. They, they'd end up becoming homies, or you'd work with them one day. Yeah, that's crazy. Dream come true, type yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. Can you remember a, a so- certain song or, or artist you heard when you were when you were young that kind of first made you? gravitate towards hip-hop and kind of fall in love with it yeah i'll never forget it it was like a time when i was real influenced with like some of the homies who were gang banging and shit and then i had other homies who were like hip-hop heads and I, i'll never forget the bars from abstract rule dog hip-hop if it were not for you i'll probably walk the street carry glocks and heat be on some ill shit that you would not believe simple as that i was like 13 when i heard that i was like damn you know that's (laughs) some real shit yeah like fucking hip-hop and does and and i don't know i'm sure he knows by now because you've got to you know build with the homie but that he um could ultimately like change your path for a good in a good way like talking about app yeah because i mean just that influence in the bar right there like that probably got you to thinking you know let me let me uh get more serious about the music side versus you know going the other way you know yeah hell kind of yeah dog. that's that's exactly what happened i'm grateful for that so shout out abstract rule for making that that quality shit from back then to right now you know and and you know um like kind of where we started at with the with this interview is is kind of like the area and stuff and you know a lot of times it gets overlooked like not only in music but just the um the urban i guess lifestyle of it here like some people will only see like maybe you know uh, like san dimas or uh you know i, I don't know where you know and, and there's bad parts there too don't get me wrong but i'm saying like maybe they've been over here and seen some you know a couple nice spots and shit but i've heard people say they've never even been to west covina before yeah yeah you see you see <laughs> Oh shit! That's hey, hey, <laughs> they've been to IKEA, motherfucker. Calm yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been probably at least one of the malls or something around here, or or one of the clubs. But but um, 
you know that being said is like sometimes that part gets overlooked too is it it's it gets pretty popping over here too as far as uh yeah you know, uh the bullshit the, the gang, yeah the, the bullshit the, the gang shit everything man and and uh yeah, so it's kind of like we had to navigate through that because myself as well and and, and that's why i'm kind of where i'm going with it is it, it you could have easily went down either path yeah. and the same with me like at the time like i, I was going when i was we were getting in like trouble, you know, yeah, almost the, every weekend La Puente, and shit. La Puente, right? Yeah, there yeah, in Belinda, uh, La, La Puente, West Covina, West Covina yeah. Azusa, Ball like all, all the area. <laughs> yeah, we were all around, bro. But, but um, the the thing is, just moving around and um, you know, doing music, it kind of kept me away from a different path. I think I, it could have been wor- I could have been worse off. In other words, no, nah, not for damn sure. Yeah, damn yeah. Sure. So I think uh, when I started taking it serious, or just even going and checking other cats are going to shows and seeing that there's there's cats out there from different areas that can vibe with me on that hip-hop level yeah or being hip-hop in a st- level yeah there's a different like people make music make rap music yeah but there's a different like i think hip-hop the word hip-hop the term hip-hop the definition hip-hop actually did like save my life gee yeah. in a certain type of way you know it sounds cliche sometimes it does, it people does, say it, it but it does sound cliche but it but really it, but it's true and in both of our cases i, I feel because yeah, dog. yeah. I, got, I got this music note and this microphone on my shit for a reason gee like you know and, and the yin and the yang on my shit because it, it's all about balance yeah you know? hey and see you 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 know speaking on that like you had to navigate through that as well i mean there's been t- i mean i'm sure more than once for myself as well but close to you know um shit where we might not have been talking to you right now type of situations you know that have happened and you know without talking too much you know and we don't have to really name anything or, or anything like that but you've been you have been in situations just by from growing up around here sometimes people might mistake you for someone else or think that you associate with so and so before they even know you and i know you've got you know you've came close to you know yeah. luckily not like in the recent past no no like years ago yeah so it's been a while it's gonna be these, these haters out there though we yeah we just gotta brush them off yeah keep it rolling yeah and it's it's uh like i said it's 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 happened to me uh, more than once unfortunately and yeah. and like i'm glad I, like thank god i'm still here i probably went like when i got in the studio instead of going somewhere else that night could have been like you know so I, yeah, I, i'm yeah. glad like i said hip-hop though and I, and I always related to to cats that dig it whether i was at a show or not um when when was it i'm I, you mentioned some influence and stuff though but when was it when um you know i you mentioned freestyling as well yeah. when when you really knew that you were serious about it you know even when you were just freestyling like was it keeping up with certain cats like in a cypher or 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 just wanting to make your own creation of an album what 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 made you take it serious shit at first it it was kind of just having fun all throughout like middle school and high school but the thing was i remember being in eighth grade and going to to high school like you know we got out of school at like 245 or some shit in eighth grade and luckily the high school was only like a few minutes away from the middle school so i would run my ass to the high school to go battle the motherfuckers that were <laughs> in high yeah. school like little homie trying to pay my dues or whatever yeah you know? yeah and that shit kind of paid off you yeah know? yeah that shit helped me out skill wise skill wise and respect yeah. wise yeah respect wise like, like, look, look at this little motherfucker little homie don't <laughs> even go here yet <laughs> yeah like, you know so that, that, that was always a, a good feeling when they kind of like let me in like all right this fool's accepted he's he's cool enough to fucking you know what it is when you're that age you're just trying to be accepted in, in the and when you could like you know even just, keep up it, yeah. you know in the cypher and and get that yeah. you know a lot of the times that, and then at where it starts is obviously it, you know it gets to everybody needs to get paid excuse me yeah um, and so i would say all throughout high school it was all about ciphering paying dues but when i turned 18 that was like I got from this crew called, uh, called Concept Artist, Chamber Records Concept Artist, big up to the homies. What up, dogs? You know, shout yeah. out to all my G's, local heroes in the motherfucking building yeah. still, you know. Yeah, what so up, we're we're, we're kind of, you know, we're on our own paths right now, but it's, it's still family, you know. Those still my G's. You guys get, and I won't go too far off, but we'll get back to it, but you motherfuckers, like, rock hard live together. All you guys together oh, is, yeah. is sick, dog. Yeah. Sick fucks. Yeah, <laughs> sick motherfuckers. <laughs> 
Nah, but yeah, once I linked up with those fools and we actually like started rocking over original beats and there was no more fucking mixtape beats, no more YouTube shit or whatever. Was YouTube even around back then? Yeah, it was. But yeah, uh, once we started like, getting, Spock. getting original production from Spock, rocking my boy Frankie Valentine, like that's when I really realized like, Spizak. yo, like, we're, we're able to do this shit and people actually like it. Like we can make some fatty off this shit. Let's, let's keep this shit rolling. Mm-hmm. And... It pretty much never stopped since then, dog. Like, and it, you know? I mean, I'm sure that had to. I mean, you mentioned like you know battling in ciphers with older cats at the time, but when you got into the studio, even at that age, is is real young still to start actually recording over original beats and all that. Yeah. Um, my, my first album, I was 19. See, and yeah. and it, but having cats like like those dudes, because we know most of them, right? Um, Having those dudes around had to help develop you as well, cause all the chamber homies, yeah, because oh, yeah, all of all of them be doing their thing too, yeah, man. You yeah. know, and learning from Spock, recording himself or not not recording himself, but recording archive his brother and shit, and just learning from them, learning from Josiah, recording himself, the homie Idiller, just kind of inspired me to fucking get on it. You yeah, know? yeah, and then and then putting out your first project at that age too, yeah, you know, sure. and then you you have something tangible that you can. When you are hitting ciphers or shows or whatever at that time battles because because more of it even though you know social media was around um it it, it still was about hitting shows and with the hand-to-hand and yeah that footwork yeah the footwork bro that sometimes gets overlooked nowadays you know? i'm still right here with the flyers and the physical oh scene. yeah Shit. yeah dog. That shit, it's never gonna stop for me i'm gonna always give you something when you see me and you know it ain't just um it ain't just older cats like myself that want that physical copy either, man. Like that shit's right. people are making doing vinyls again and yeah, yeah. cassette cassette tapes. tapes too, bro. Big up to the homie Wino. I, I see my boy doing it. Oh yeah, oh, the yeah, Wino man. Hey Wino. dog, I'm 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 anxious to see some of his new stuff when he's. Ooh, when, he saw me a little sneak peek. Oh yeah, because I it. I know he's been away, kind of just working on his shit, and that's cool, man. You got to do it sometimes. Yeah. Um, um, when you even took it, um further the length man for those that don't know like you you wanted to record so much that you built your own studio at your spot yeah that was that was dope man 2014 Uh uh-huh so so it's been up a while already yeah yeah, it's been like six years some shit like that yeah so that one pretty much was like one day the homie frankie valentine and i pretty much thought about it like yo we uh because he's a genius dog he's a fucking musical genius yeah he was living in Maine at the time and shit like we had the opportunity to convert the garage into a motherfucking studio I hit up Frank like hey you want you want to do it want to try to make some money homie we'll fucking rent this shit out 40 an hour 50 an hour homie and of course use it for ourselves as well but it, I, I, initially it was a a means of making money yeah yeah you know just fucking paying the rent right there or whatever so we did that shit and it came out beautiful though. I was still rocking to this day. So shout out Frankie Valentine for really knowing the dynamics of a studio. I love that word dynamics. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but yeah, th- he really knew the dynamics of the studio, yeah. knowing where to put the, the sound padding, the and sound. all that vibration. There, uh, there's all these things that people like the uh, sonic levels and yeah, uh, where where the sound bounces off of maybe a dead spot or whatever. Yeah, it, it, it's, yeah. son- it's sonically dope. Yeah, yeah. And everybody who comes in, they're like, what the fuck? We didn't yeah. even expect it to look like this. Like, because w- once you park your car, you're like, oh, you know, just a crib or whatever. Yeah. They, get up in there, yeah. It's like, oh, okay, okay. These they, think, they think, you know, oh, they're going to give me the microphone inside a, a, bath, a bathtub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with the shower curtain as the to, to keep out the sound. <laughs> Hey, but no diss to motherfuckers who no, do that. No, no, hey, hey, fuck. I did that shit too. Why? Why do you think I know that? Because we did, go. we did all that shit. But no, but it is a big difference though, especially when you're um, taking your craft seriously and reinvesting in yourself as an artist. When you go from from having to do that to where you can actually step in an official studio like that, it even gets your vibe in a different spot. I know you know that, man. Like it, yeah. It it gets you in that zone, bro. And like whenever I want now. I could literally wake up and record a verse. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck. Yeah, you know? that's dope. Yeah. And, and I like, I prefer recording my verses in the morning time anyway. It's just the way my voice is. It's like a little more raspier in the morning time. I just like the, my delivery like that. So it's a win win. Yeah. And that's your your uh, your cadence. Your delivery is that, you know, that, yeah. that sound with it. Um, hey, uh, um, a couple other things, bro. Um, they, we mentioned the experience level. 
you know, and how far you go back and you, you've been a student of the game, um, you don't take, like, uh, basically, like, you, you, you do your homework. Like, you don't take it lightly, like, meeting or, or, or being introduced to some of these legends in the game or, or uh, even someone you haven't worked with yet. Like, you're one of those dudes that your networking game's on point. I mean... I like to pride myself in that too. Not for sure. It's like I, chopping I kinda, it I kinda up learn it from you, Papa. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Real talk. Oh, Real talk. oh, you stop it. You oh, stop it. No, hey, no, Real, no, but, talk, but, but no, but uh, but you know that is like slapping hands with people and you know um, he, hearing what they got to talk about too and, and 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 letting them know that you know yeah I remember this you did this and that like so they know you're not just talking out of your ass when you come up to them and yeah. and maybe you do want to work but. Man, you've got to work with and meet a, a lot of a lot of pretty big names and shit, dog. Yeah, man, it's a blessing, homie. Yeah. And now I kind of just feel like this shit was meant to be the whole time, you know. Yeah. And and could you want to go go ahead and talk about some of the cats though like um yeah. that you've been blessed to work with or meet or work, you know, uh well, kind of if I could just think back and go album to album. Like, it kind of started with the Namifest Destiny album when I started getting some cool features. That one featured, like, the, the homie Abstract Root. I was going to say, know? is that when you first started working with, with Root on that level, on yeah, mu making yeah, music? Yeah, probably, like, okay. 2013. Yeah. Something like that. It's when I won the Flow and Tell battle, uh, right, like, yeah. three in a row. And he, he's the one who threw that shit. So I won uh, three, volume three, four, and five. And after I won volume five, I was like, what's up, Ab? Like, I need you on the motherfucking track, homie. Yeah, yeah. And he kind of just got at me like, fuck a track. Like, be a part of my crew. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> This motherfucker wants me a part of his crew? Like, okay, okay. And that shit was a fucking dream come true. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, dog. So, what the fuck are we getting at again? Nah, I'm a fan. Yeah, oh. Hey, can I, can I ask you about one story? Marijuana. Um, hey. Uh, Marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, perfect. Dude. Uh, hey, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, um, what's that story? Um, because I remember you posted on your Instagram when you were at that show um, on stage with DJ Quick, and you were performing, and and he, he like hid your drink or he took your drink from. Oh, remember oh, DJ? You that shit? Yeah, yeah. Like what happened? Though? How? Like what, what? Like that shit was dope. Describe that. What's like, the story? What was going on there? You were you were, did you just get up there and start speeding, or so, you were booked? So it, to, it, it was High C's birthday. Okay. Yeah, it was High C's birthday show. Fucking Tony A was spinning. It was uh, thrown by uh, Blanca. You know, Bobby D presents and Blanca and shit. Blanca, yeah, shout out Blanca. And she pretty much was like, hey, you want to do a couple songs? Like, open up for High C. And Qu well, Quick wasn't performing, but he was like on stage just chilling, chilling with there, High yeah. C. She's like, you want to wanna open up for High C? I was like, hell, motherfucking yeah. <laughs> Actually, the homie Joe Alcholo got me in that day too. Rest hey, in peace, rest in peace, peace man. That was the homie right yeah, there, I, man. He, he hosted that night right there and did a little comedy set. So rest in peace to my boy. He, he got me in that motherfucking like a security's being little bitches. Yeah, but, which they, they have a tendency yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's all good though. Yeah. But that shit was dope though. Um, D Yeah, DJ Quick kind of was just like, all right, I'm fucking with dude. <laughs> I'm fucking with his flow. I put my drink down for a second. Luckily, someone was recording, so I seen, like, everything that happened after. <laughs> that fool quick just straight took my drink, dog, and, like, hit that shit from me. And I, I turned around, and I was just like, the fuck happened to my motherfucking <laughs> drink, <laughs> Pretty much DJ Quick was just playing a little joke on yeah, me yeah. as I'm performing, but that shit was cool. Just, oh, but that's, like, you, know, you did it in a respectful way. He wasn't trying yeah, to... Yeah, he did it in a respectful like, way. Yeah, yeah, after, it's after... Like, he, like he, you're one he, of the he homies, me, you like, He gave me the drink back, yeah. shook my hand, and he was like, hey... Like you in pocket with, with your flow. Dog. That's what's up. You, you stay in hey, pocket with your flows. Like last time. And see, sometimes those are the the little um, uh, tidbits or nuggets like that we need from from a from someone you might look up to or whatever. Just or give you that little, little just a little more. extra uh, push to keep it moving because once you hear that, it's almost like selling yeah, ten CDs. Yeah. Like this homie just told me, I'm in pocket. Uh, yeah, that's dog. A, and uh, even even uh, one time with corrupt G. Cocaine, big up Coca, legendary cocaine shit, dog. That's that's the big homie right there. One time he invited me to a My video carnal. shoot. Yeah, the carnalito. Yeah, dog. yeah. <laughs> the carnelian, dog. Yeah. But uh, that, that motherfucker invited me to a video shoot. We ended up in the studio with Corrupt and Trey D, the, the dirty OGs. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. And you know, shout out Chill, shout out Weasel Low. What up, big homies? The Low goes. Yeah. Oh geez. But shit. Long story short, I'm freestyling with Corrupt and Roscoe. Corrupt's like. Motherfucker, you like the illest Latino rapper since Big Pun, cuz, or some shit like that. You the illest Latino rapper since Big Pun. And he's like, Give me your motherfucking phone. <laughs> I was like, What? Is that like a diss? Or was he like, 
put my motherfucking number in here. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> and then threw that shit back in my chest. This shit hit me hard as fuck. I was just like, all right, for sure. Yeah. Man, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, take that shit, like, shit kind of hurt, dog, but yeah, I'll take hurt, it. Dog. Yeah. I had a bruise for like a week and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No. But that, that shit was cool as fuck, though. At the end of the day, I was like, man, corrupt, quick. You know, get, getting props from Cocaine. Cocaine asking me to be from Buddy Boy. We did an album on Cocaine's label. So yeah, that's, that's that up. shit I'm never going to forget. And I'm always going to be very, very grateful for it, dog. You know? My, my carnal Coca, man. He, oh, yeah. He's always been down with, with the B-Side family, too, in the, in the yeah. sense that whenever he's in town... He makes it a point to stop by, bro. Or I see that. Too, or so. or he'll invite us to where he's at if he can't make it, yeah, just yeah. so we could chop it up, man. Like that's some that's some cool ass shit, dog. And where did I happen to meet Cocaine at? Oh yeah, you. I oh, mean, where was that at? Yeah, where <laughs> where was that at? Where might that happen to be? At the motherfucking B side shop. Our huh? hip our hip hop dojo right here, man. That's the shit. Yeah. Hey hey, you know what? And and then we'll get back to you know some of the people you work with. You named off some right now, but what I was gonna get at is kind of where my brother was going with that story. Is um, one thing about Namek for those that don't know him is. If you ask him, <laughs> I mean, nine, I'll say 9.75% of the 9.75 times out of 10 that you're going to get up on the mic if someone asks you, you want to rock something like whether it's freestyling or busting some songs like you're you, you're pretty much always ready, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well there, a lot of people aren't, bro. And so oh, when the yeah, opportunity, yeah. it might be that one where someone might notice you that's in the crowd or oh, yeah, someone yeah. big might be watching that day like a quick or somebody. But if you didn't take that opportunity to be ready, straight up, you'll never know. Like you know, that's kind of how I met Cocaine outside right here, bro. Yeah, Cadillac Ron, another you know, another oh, rest in peace, rest, man. Rest yeah. in peace, Caddy Ron. Yeah, I was outside uh, rapping with him, him and uh, I think it was Exit Stereo. It was stereo. probably Stereo. That was probably that man. time they busted that freestyle here. We have it in our YouTube, and that's, that's just still to this day. It's like uh, they anybody, got down right here. Anybody bro. could check that in our archives, yeah. but it was a uh, Exit Stereo from uh, uh, Shapeshifters, Shapeshifters and uh, Cadillac Ron, man, LA legend right there. Rest in peace to him. But yeah. they they went in, and you know they were about to go on a tour together. Yeah. And this was shortly before he passed, uh, and uh, they were so pumped up. Caddy Ron had been clean a while and they were getting ready and uh, I remember when they came in thinking oh, I don't know if they're going to want to rap still too because yeah. they gave us a, a good interview on top of it talked about whatever we asked you know and uh, they got up there and went back and forth whatever the DJ threw on for a while for a while bro <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for a minute but they went back <laughs> and forth off each other for Not a literally cool, a minute but a minute a cool ass, ass minute, cool minute. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was yeah, dope those are dope dog. legends yeah. right there Caddy man. Ron one of the illest freestylers too dog. rest oh, in yeah. peace homie yeah but be, because of them telling me what's up get up in this cypher yeah <laughs> I got up in it and cocaine happened to be walking by as I'm rapping so like you kind of saying that me being down to, to kind of rap whenever someone hits me up like that's a perfect example of a legend hearing me and me not even knowing the motherfuckers behind me type shit you know shit, so, so they were all on the same show that day they were huh? they were yeah, yeah that it was a sick show that was Cocaine, a pretty Caddy <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stereo. yeah it was a crazy show i remember i forgot i think there was, I, it was I, I, I don't even think too. i was on the uh, i was on the lineup that day but i just came yeah, through you came through now now that's why i said uh when we were joking man i'm pretty sure he knows how to get here by now now makes uh you know, and there's a couple people like um, that come by, like and just come visit us, like when we're doing a live show or whatever. And we always respect that too. You know, uh, the the cats respect our platform, and you know, know that hip hop's gonna happen here some way or another, man. You know, or even like yeah. a, a photographer will come with their camera and just go, "Hey, I'm gonna get, I'll take some, photo, you know, take some flicks here for you guys, you know, and shoot them too, you know, out of the strength. That's that's dope. You know, we appreciate that. Hell yeah! And and the fact that you guys got like you know up and comers homies who are trying to pay their dues you know just kind of started all the way up to motherfucking legends like you know i've I seen trey d here oh Cole yeah King right man. here you had a uh, roscoe i think right did you have corrupt if uh, you had, if you had no corrupt no here? but w almost and then uh yeah there's a couple but of goldie low you know has been goldie through Lo battle cast Course, Ra battle Raz Kaz, Razzy Kazzy, yeah. all these West Coast OG. Even some East Coast artists, man. Sick Jackin. When they're in, oh, yeah, man. Shout out to the the Psycho Realm. Duke's like one of the, Duke and Jack are the homies right there, man. And, yeah. um, but even East Coast artists, when they're in the area, come through. And, you know, that's um, kind of like we were talking about, but that's kind of like the push that helps us keep going, too. It's the East Coast. Hell yeah. Knowing that cats that want to come by and use our platform to spread the word about them yeah. so that makes us feel better man pretty you know? dope. Well, having, well, i mean even though it wasn't in the, the building but we did the 
the Zoom uh, meet, um, interview with Rod Digga. That was pretty dope. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, that was, that was uh, a couple, a few couple weeks back. Yeah. Yeah, a couple months, yeah. She, hey. she was in town not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. It was right before yeah, she before came to do that years. show. Oh, okay. She was, she was, she was uh, promoting the show and, you know, kind of what she's been working on, getting back to shows and shit. And, and that was the one we were kind of pushing at the time. Hey, can I ask you real quick, um, just while we're on shows and stuff like that, um, like I like to ask the the artists that that have performed a lot of shows, if like this is the first one that pops up of like one of your favorite shows that you did, like where everything, the venue, the crowd, the city, every, everything was just on point, the the sound, everything. Can you, yeah. Which one pops out? Can you probably be? If it wasn't Rhymefest, because I would say Rhymefest to me, the when Two Max hit me up to do Rhymefest, my first Rhymefest. That shit was like incredible to me, just because of the fact that it was promoted on K Day. Was that the one where you were in the cipher? No, nah, that was the second Rhyme Fest that I was on. I was just, I was just part of the Cypher Effect. Okay, Scooby the Cypher Effect, yeah. Yeah, I was shout, Scooby with, uh, with JDS. Yeah, shout yeah. out to, to those homies. Shout man. out Scooby, though. Fucking Mystery Bacon and shit, Rhyme Fest. That's, yeah. that's my boy right there. They're bringing it back, we're hearing. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are, they are. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. I, got, I got that custom Mystery Bacon song for him, too, so go ahead and check that shit out right now. Hell, yeah. Mystery Bacon by your boy Namek, that custom shit. But, but I would say Rhyme Fest, dog. Yeah. It probably had to be... The shit, be, just because of the fact it was promoted on K-Day, yeah. and I was up there with, with the legend, something that I grew up listening to, and, and a legend hit me up to be a part of it, so I was just like, it was very humbling for me. Yeah. But but then after that, when you know, starting like to open up for the Dog Pound and DJ Quick at the Observatory, like, those shows can yeah can never be replaced. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of them, but, like, you know, yeah. it's something, like, there's certain reasons, like, some probably stand out, like, just for what this was the fucking shit, yeah. like, where you or felt what, good after. Or what it meant, or who, yeah. who might have, like, you know... Probably, probably, on to you probably that, that first rhyme fest. That hey, rhyme and fest. and then speaking of that too, man. See, they were see, I'm I'm able to go like see, I lose my memory too, Doug, but a lot. But <laughs> I want to go back <laughs> to yeah, uh, wonder why. But uh, let's go back to uh, you know, people you've worked with and stuff, and you've you've got to work with even getting recognized by cats doing radio and different things um oh, you know people. shout out to cc and guap and uh, uh, j cruz and whole, yeah, um, all of them, you man. you got to either work with them or pop up on their show and you even did the battle uh the freestyle on, friday on, was that on power yeah right? yeah that was on power before for a yeah. few weeks before cruz went to 92 yeah yeah on power for a few years yeah yeah that's when uh that's when i did that i was actually the the three time you know I, Motherfuckers tell me, hey, you better keep repping that shit because you never lost. But I'd be like, ah, so it was a couple years ago. But they're like, yeah. fuck it, you never lost. So, and yeah, technically the, you didn't. So, uh, yeah, I did it three so. times. Undefeated Power 106 Freestyle Friday Champions. In other words, know. if they had a belt, you would still be holding it. So, yeah, you know, so. no but one took it. It's pretty dope, though, the, the guy that you were competing with, like the one that was taken it before you guys ended up kind of, you know, yeah, being and, and, and being cool. Right? He's from, from SGV, too. That's yeah, what the homie called. Roman from, Roman, uh, from yeah. Baltimore Park. And he was the defending three-time champ. Roman like, Sick. Before, yeah. Sick. Hey, uh, that, that, yeah, man, and you know what? And when you guys went, that show was just a dope one because Ooh, you guys were was close. No, you know, it was it, was, it was just that was the it one. was sick because for me being a you know a six two six you know SGV representer myself, like, yeah. um, I felt proud in that moment because oh, I was like, know, hey, these fools are like they're they're not they're not really like hitting with low like low blow like no too disrespectful shit but you guys were battling and the fact oh, that so funny that shit about me. the fact that's that though so that you guys were straight like you guys were in pocket on the beats oh uh, yeah both of you guys dog yeah. like and then i've heard other people when they're in those they might fall off a little on the beat whatever it might be but you guys were right in pocket my g that shit was hard what do you say that was said uh you know uh no lg Fucking Hector, the actor, no LG, yeah, yeah. yeah, Hector, and big up to that homie, man. He, uh, hey, that's yeah. the homie, right? Apple's what up, dog? <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out, no LG. But that was, it wasn't even like the the illest like rhyming bar. But what he said, he just said, "You look like the SGVs, no LG." <laughs> and, and, and just that little shit, I was like, "Oh, this, <laughs> this <laughs> my." <laughs> That shit was funny as fuck. Yeah, you gotta give it up when it's good, but you yeah. know, but yeah, you ultimately ended up. You know, that, yeah. like you said, you're still holding it right now. So if they yeah. bring it back, I always tell Cruz like, take it to 92.3, bring bring back Freestyle Friday because he's on 92.3 now. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm just grateful for the fact as well that he remembered me, and once he had the platform on 92.3, once Kobe passed away, rest in peace, Kobe man. All right, he um, uh, he hit me up. You know, actually Jeff Garcia hit me up. They were like, hey, we like your Kobe song because I wrote that shit the day Kobe passed away. Like, man. 
through yeah. that shit online. Jeff Garcia hit me up. They were like, hey, we like your song, bro. We want you to come and, and perform that shit live on 92.3 on the air. I was like, oh, damn. damn. So that was kind of like a, just like, we didn't forget about you type shit. Like, we know that you, you held yeah. it down on power on the crew show. So they're still following yeah. you and they, you yeah. know, and they hurt you. Know, they're hey, hurt. rest so in peace cool, to Kobe Bean Bryant. Oh, for sure, man. Uh, and I'll Gigi, the Mambasita, and everybody on that. Uh, that uh, that was crazy day, man. Being a lifelong Laker fan. That, that was kind of like crazy. when the world went to shit. When after that happened for a while, <laughs> the world went to twenty twenty. Right after that happened, it sucks to say that, but yeah, shortly after, you know, and you know the rest. But um, man, bro, the to the people you've gotten to work with and that recognize your skill level. You you even had a. Uh, CC uh, did was on your album too. Yeah, yeah, she did a few drops for me from uh, K Day. Yeah, CC the Mama Sita holding yeah. it down. Big up to her. Big up Guap City. What up, been, Guap? Been doing a lot of my music videos. Mm -hmm. He holds that shit down every year. This will just get better and better and better. And he's working with a lot of dope ass fools too. Oh Jermaine yeah, Jermaine Dupree, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Dog Jermaine Dupree. I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. doing a lot of because Snoop Dogg's one of his new videos. Crazy man. Hey, um, you know, on that level, you you you've mentioned quite a few. Um, you know, you, I know you did a track with on the last album that track you did with Razkaz. That was one of my favorite on that oh, one. Man. That song's hard because nah, good looking. You hear Razkaz kick in, and it just made sense. Man, we were supposed to shoot a video to that shit. We never did, but hey, it's never too late. Nah, it ain't. That song's yeah. hard, dog. The music's timeless. You know the deal. Nah, that's a, what's up. A, a, and um, so anybody that we might not have mentioned, or what I was gonna ask is that uh, is there someone? you know that could be a possibility that you would want to work with that you haven't or uh something you know because it I, i'm pretty sure we put it in the atmosphere it's gonna happen anyways because you're on the right path you know what i'm saying hey and it seems like every time i've said that in the past the shit kind of has <laughs> yeah, happened right like i remember saying a couple years ago i'm gonna just go out and say this shit right now man like i said a couple years ago that we were I, gonna be working with uh like i really wanted i was gonna try so hard to work with with the legendary battle cat man i knew it and uh and we just you know, talked about this with, with johnny this from shit. west coast creations yeah, and he, then, he was on this past week on b-side yeah and he was like yeah we made it happen dog hell yeah i was right here talking with him man yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so that, that was a beautiful thing man big up johnny big up west coast creations and my dog han g who, who's managing me right now from final level music art of rap latino you know he goes back a long time with battle cat yeah. and it just connected the dots in the right fam, way. Fat man, original rhyme syndicate and all that rhyme shit. Syndicate, man. Ice tea, big up Ice T. For anybody know. that don't know that, just go, just do some research. I, I like to throw little things out there just so hopefully people that are interested could go check it out. But man, yeah, Ice T's crew at the time and his movement at the time um, was rhyme syndicate, and and he's always been down with uh, the brothers Henji and Evil E, man. So. Yeah. It didn't. It wasn't uh, Everlast. Uh, oh yeah, he, Everlast. he was originally from yeah, Rhyme, Rhyme Syndicate, Syndicate Kid dog. Frost, Crazy. Kid Frost, you know, dog. Dub C, I think, right? Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't think know if he was. was he might have been originally, and then also a uh, 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 Mad Circle and all that before, you know. Yeah, yeah. But so but uh, but yeah, that's crazy, man. But they go, you know, way back in this music shit, and to have someone like that's a legend right there working with you, man. Yeah, I still trip out, man, because Henry's cool as fuck. That's like the bro, bro, you know. Yeah. But I, I still always recognize the fact that he, he is a legend. He is an icon. Very underrated, too. You know? Hen very, very underrated. And it's just cool to, to be able to vibe with him. Call this motherfucker right now and see what's popping. Yeah, yeah. Know, but like, Hen Henji and, e and Evil E, man, when they, whenever, you know, they've been by here a couple, few times each. And um, when they do come by, it's always like, fam like they oh, just yeah. oh, they're yeah, just I, comfortable right away like they got like like evo he came and spun some a records a couple times that, right yeah dog yeah, and he I've just jumps up there let's do it like fucking just starts killing it dog like yeah oh, it's, it's always good to have them even contributing to our show it's pretty dope man That's what's up. but you're working with you're working with damn bro like yeah so we're doing a three by three one of the west coast creations projects and yeah. just kind of pretty much gonna see where it goes you know are you guys gonna get in that have you started that process yet because I, I when he was telling us about it i mean i knew because i had seen the posts and stuff yeah and i was like all right he, he made it happen now but um have you guys started the process or not yet i'm ready to rock it's pretty much uh we're just being patient right now okay i, I, I guess cats in, in creative mode right now so we'll see 
you, no. I, I, I think uh, I think he's making some skeleton skeleton beats right now. Uh -huh. Speaking of that, I got the shirt right here, three by three. Oh, you, you are rocking that right there. Hell yeah, West Coast Creations. West Coast, big up. Thanks, Johnny, for the shirt. Those are the homies right there too, man. Family as well, and this hip hop shit, man. But that that's gotta be. I know you you're. I know you're being patient, but I know you're anxious, too, to oh, jump on oh. a battle cat beat, my G. Because, you know, even like you said, like cats that know music, the skeleton is one thing. You're going to probably come up with your concept or, or at least the bar work and everything. But then all this stuff, for those that know battle cats production, all the shit he's going to sprinkle, you know, besides whatever you lay down, dog. That's the whole shit of working with a legend like that. That's just got yeah, yeah. I'm excited for you. Not good look. I might go G. sing a hook. No, <laughs> hey, pull up, dog. or at least pull dance in the, the video. Yeah, I'm a, at least uh, I, yeah. I know the choreography. Well. <laughs> be that, be be a puff daddy, dog. Yeah, you know, that, uh, dancing daddy, all in, in the, the video. videos. <laughs> I don't care. I'll do it. I just won't wear a shiny suit, but I'll do it. I don't care. I don't care. But I, I know you're anxious though to get in the lab. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, it's gonna be some. Are you gonna so record special. at your spot, or you don't know yet? Nah, we're gonna. Uh, I think we're gonna get a spot in LA or Hollywood. Oh, or some okay. Shit. Do it right, huh? Yeah, probably document the whole shit. Hey, do you ever do it? Uh, and a couple, couple dope features on it. I don't want to say them yet, but there's gonna be probably two fresh ass features on there, like some solid, solid ones. Yeah, some pretty cool ones. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to know, um, because I know you're, you're like constant. You're just work. You're like everything you do is music. You're either at a show, networking somewhere, or in your studio recording something writing something do you ever do is there anything else to ever that you do to, to like kind of take a break like like any video games or movies or tv anything like that or are you just all just yeah, you're a, are you an avid golfer yeah golf whatever draw anything M miniature golfing my dream. Uh, yeah uh, a fisherman <laughs> like nah, a nah, yeah. chess <laughs> of course like just, use just, car salesman going out dog like going out is, is always been a thing of mine. oh just go have food. a drink huh like well not necessarily uh, well yeah that too, or i mean just chill and, and kind of just like i decompress I, I used to i used to play sports a lot more than i do now i'll admit that i probably do need to get back up on my basketball too because i was my shit i was oh, saying really? the same okay. thing the other yeah. day i got it back uh, in the day yeah like, i'd probably like five years ago six years ago i used to play a lot more than i do now I don't i'll, really play I'll shit probably run from half court and hyperventilate right now i'm like i need to get back to it now, nah, luckily, I've kind of been trying to keep my cardio up and just, you know, s simple shit. Because, yeah. yeah, dog, like, we, are getting, uh, we well, are getting a little older in this. Well, you, too, so. the thing is with your, and and that's something you got to keep in your mind, too, is the way you represent yourself. Like, you've never, you've never gone on that I've ever seen and do a lazy stage show. Like your oh, energy is yeah. part of your show, and like so, I I know that plays into you. You no, you, you like so. to have a good time, but you also want to make sure you're ready to rock and do it right. You know. Oh, for sure. And even on my worst day. Yeah. For for some reason, when I get on stage, uh -huh. dog, I fucking just flip a switch. I turn into another human being. Yeah. I, I'm not even human for yeah. that set, dog. Like I could have like just say I'm sick as fuck. I could I could have coronavirus in this motherfucker. I just coronavirus. <laughs> And just rock my shit, and then once I'm off the stage again, like oh, back to being dead and shit. Yeah, yeah. just tell him to but throw like, the mic over. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, you might not want to use this mic. Yeah. Yeah. I just like, <laughs> when it's time to work, it's time to work. Quarantine home. this mic yeah. for two weeks. <laughs> Fuck, for real. <laughs> no, because I've had some bad like hangovers. And oh shit, yeah, and yeah. I got a rocket set the next day. Or Where you're like dehydrated, because yeah. I've even done like back in the day, you know, when I used to do or even hosting. Like I've had days where it was a long night, and then I get on the and it's like fuck, dog, like. And then, but once you get going, that adrenaline takes over. Yeah. And then just get off the stage, and I, it don't matter after that. I just got to do what I came to do, you know. I think that's that's might have how that might have. I think it was uh, probably Rhymefest, dog. I was like that. I think it was Rhymefest. It was a, one of the big shows where I was like feeling the worst, homie. Uh huh. And, I just ended up fucking yeah. Rocking it, got Probably on stage go back like, and look good, at your man. shit. You might have murked that more than the red. Like you're like, yeah, you're like, something damn. snapped out of it right yeah, there. It's like when Kobe more. Bryant was sick as fuck in that one game when he played, or Michael Jordan remember oh, yeah, flew. Yeah. Like, yeah, like still went out points. there, did his thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Challenge yourself like yeah. that. Hey, um, there's a uh, you know, kind of like what he was saying. You've got to rock some dope ass shows, but there, is there any like uh, uh, funnest kind of memories that with any you know? celebrity or anybody in em entertainment that kind of stands out like real quick for me i think i might have told you this story but before but i randomly with the other homie shout out casino but i i kicked it at 
sugar freeze pad the one he has he has this pad that's like right off a, a lake and it's uh and i and i ended Wait, like big bears like shit? yeah yeah oh, okay. like for the whole weekend yeah. and like this was a long time ago bro but it's still like when i see him he still remembers he's cool and shit but um but i remember it was a random trip the homie casino because they were gonna go work he worked on music with them you know i, I remember that name casino yeah and he, he's still like doing this with a ponytail well now something? he has he has he has he has yeah. braids he's and shit. Like i haven't seen man. the homie in a long yeah he's been all on right. the stage with them yeah, they've done I remember. Yeah, yeah. they've done music together and all that and uh casino's gonna come through on the podcast soon oh. well we we have a lot of memories and shit together too but that and that's one of them but um randomly he just hits me up goes yo i'm gonna go to casino i mean uh to sugar freeze pad for the for the to work on music for any and he go, i go what are you you coming back when you coming back tomorrow tonight what yeah. oh no i'm gonna stay a couple of days i'm like what he goes yeah you want to roll with me and i was like and i don't i don't remember what i was doing but it was random bro and i'm just like looked around like fuck yeah i'll roll dog i'm gonna go yeah. kick it and that shit was one of the fucking funnest like dude we were just clowning the whole time blazing dog just That's chilling dope. Uh, this fool had a had a um, had a fish po- fishing pole on the back of his porch. That there's a back uh, where you go out his back. There's a fucking lake. I don't yeah. know if he still lives at the same spot, but fuck dog, he had a pole and he would like we'd be talking, chilling, and he they would be going over stuff they're gonna do with music, and then he'd randomly just go got one and because he, he would see the pole got fucking one. flex yeah and he'd go out there and fucking pull a fish up bro like nothing i was like what the <laughs> like it's fuck, natural bro yeah like that's dinner homie. yeah dude. and it was yeah. just a trippy ass fucking time but that's one of I mine sugar freeze the character yeah no it was, it was fun bro fun, fun. Yeah. mad fun well you have any if yeah just off top one time uh it's a crazy one too it's, it's pretty cool shit i opened up uh for cocaine in, in victorville it was his album release in Victorville. He gets a call. He's like, yo, I'm about to go uh, do Wrong Idea with Snoop Dogg in Vegas. Damn. Oh, like, nah. uh, Snoop's opening up at Dre's nightclub in Vegas. Uh-huh. We're rolling. Uh-huh. So me, him, and Smirk, shout out Smirk, Liquid Crew. What up, dog? We end up fucking rolling up to Vegas and shit. This fool does, I don't want anybody mm-hmm. to get the phone. Yeah. But, yeah. but my dumb ass rolls up in some shorts like this, and they won't let me in the fucking nightclub, dog. So I couldn't even get in that shit. So what do I do? I go back to the fucking hotel room that we were kicking it at. It was more like a apartment complex or some shit. It was dope, though, because these fools had, like, a party in every motherfucking room of the complex uh-huh. or whatever. It was a crazy little spot, G. And uh, I remember seeing some motherfucker with some long-ass hairs like this, just braids and shit. Oh, that motherfucker looked like Coolio. <laughs> I was just going to say, when you went yeah. like this, I was going to yeah. say Coolio. So I go down there. I'm like, hey, Coolio. <clears throat> Turns around. like, that is fucking Coolio. I'm like, what's up, my G? I let him know who I am and shit. Like, I'm part of fucking cocaine's name, this and that. He was like, fool, what's up? You want to drink some vodka and shit, though? I'm just right here chilling with my sons, a couple homegirls. So I was like, oh, that's what's up. So I ended up chilling in Coolio's room with Coolio, drinking vodka with this fool, chilling with a couple of his homegirls. And he he pretty much lets me listen to his son's whole album, dog. I guess his son's a rapper and shit. Oh, so, I'm, so I'm right there just listening to Coolio's son's whole album, drinking vodka with him for like an hour and a half until <laughs> cocaine gets back and shit. That, that, uh-huh. See, that's a random ass story. Yeah. Where those are the good times. That like, was random I'm as a motherfucker. With Coolio, man. And I did not expect that. Yeah, I was yeah. kind of like pissed off. Like, damn, I couldn't even get in that shit. Yeah. I wanted to go kick it with Snoopy and fucking cocaine. Yeah. And then, you know, I couldn't even get in because of the, the shit that I was wearing. It was, like he, up back at the it was like you were standing in the county line. Da, 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 da. That's it, that's exactly we need the DJ to kick in right there. <laughs> the fuck up. Uh, a brother who needs a bath is asking for my auto. <laughs> yeah. Banger. Yeah, hell yeah, man. So, yeah, I wanted to, to ask. We, we touched on it a little bit earlier, you know, being, you know, three-time champ in more than one place when it comes to battling and freestyles and all that stuff. So, from that kind of battle circuit because you have plenty of projects which we'll get into in a second but um how did how did that kind of prepare you because i know there's a i know that it kind of keeps you on your toes especially when it comes to performing or if there might be i know for a perfect example like if someone might forget a, a something during the middle of a show when you when your freestyle skills are on point, it's kind of easy to impro- easily to, uh, easier to improvise through that. Yeah. Um, would you say what else has it prepared you like be, having that background as far as battling cats? How has that helped you in your career performing and doing albums? Oh yeah, man. It, 
tremendously, dog. It's helped out tremendously. And straight, straight up, dog, me fucking, like, freestyling. I freestyle whenever, but, like, writing songs, G. Writing songs and just content is, like, really what it is. The more you write, because, like, the flow and tell battles that I did with Abstract Rule, those were, like, written competitions. Whoever had the okay. 16 bar verse about a certain concept went on to the next round and the next round and the next round. So, like, I kind of had, like, half freestyles, half written and shit. And like a, it would like to go with the concept, but still had some maybe some bars or some uh, yeah. some metaphors in there that you could add. Yeah, but but I would really say that my my, my pen game and, and just me writing, well, that obviously helps out your freestyle. And just just the fact of, of, of me always creating content and just ne- never stopping, just never stopping being creative will yeah. obviously help out your, your performance, you know, your performance game, your live performance game and shit like that. <clears throat> but because yeah. you're also used to being on the spot and like I, I mean I'm it, it just kind of prepares you so when someone does yeah like, like for dance you know when it's like hey you know we have an extra slot you want to open up you're just there to kind of chill yeah like I, no bullshit dog. I didn't even know how the podcast was gonna be but last minute before I left the crib I fucking brought my flash drive with some beats on it just in case dog you know so that just goes to show you, like, oh, I, I, got, I got some instrumentals just in case. Oh. Even even though we ain't going to fuck with it or whatever, but, like, I, I kind of just... Oh, did, no, but... Know, carry him with you everywhere. No, the, yeah, but yeah, the exactly. homie Alex showed up. He could just beatbox. Yeah, oh, yeah. there it is. <laughs> we'll there we'll it have is. Alex beatbox while he's taking pictures and shit. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to the homie, man. Don't leave home without yeah, your yeah. instrumentals. Orale uh, photos. Hey, but that's, that's, right. that's kind of like... Um, uh, I guess kind of like preparation, I would say, kind of helps you. Because you, you're saying... Um, all the writing you do kind of helps you also with if somebody put you on the spot to freestyle because you've written so much. You yeah. got so much like repetition in your head of rhymes and patterns and Just flows and yeah. syllables and fucking crazy. Syllable structure. Yeah. Bro, yeah. It's kind of what it boils down to for me. Yeah. And it's a, like a syllable dude. That's what you're. Yeah. And you could tell for those that have, have uh, heard your stuff and all that. But I, I'm glad you mentioned that, bro, because it's like, um, you know that it's cliche again, but you know, practice. He's talking about no, practice, practice. <laughs> but no, but you do, you you do have to practice and practice, and whether it's writing or freestyling or whatever it is, to keep sharpening your skills, because yeah. when it is your turn to be on a big stage or whatever, you have all those things combined to even recording. Yeah, like recording myself and just knowing like my my breath intake. How the repetition of recording. Yeah, the repetition yeah. of it and. Knowing like I mean, just like the layers of it all and everything, because you never know when you're gonna yeah. be in the studio with the battle cat, <laughs> like we're fucking about to be in the yeah. near future, or with a Dr. Dre or whoever, dog. And when that motherfucker's like, "Yo, you got two takes, motherfucker. You better get this shit down." Yeah. Yeah. Like, all right, this is what I've been preparing for this whole fucking time. So yeah, let's get it. Get and that like it. RBX and do it on the first take. Oh, was that that story RBX? Remember? Oh yeah. He said, "Shout that's out it. to the Dr. Dre." RBX. Told him, "That's it. That's it. You did it. Oh, first time you went in there on that." Seven execution style murders. Oh, hey, we're gonna shit. we're gonna rehash it. that it's story on the podcast <laughs> soon, man. I talked to the big homie not that long ago, so it's RBX. Yeah, dopeness, dopeness. So we got to get the full stories right here. Salute. But 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 man, that's a that's kind of you know what we're doing here is just that cool combo hip hop based again, but about everything, bro. We talked mental health the last episode. You know, um, that's big right now, bro. Yeah, just different topics that right are now. need to be spoke on or just having fun talking hip-hop man but hey let me let me ask you this man i um how did you decide that um your route everybody's got that like figure out your lane let me say this first of all man people out there kind of try to figure out your lane um and and run with it man and and um how did you figure out with all your experience your songwriting the links you made the freestyling all that shit how did you really decide that g-funk was your lane because speak on that man like a lot a lot of people especially younger artists are not coming out like a lot of younger artists might not even know what g-funk is yeah, <laughs> like yeah. but you're not only schooling people to it but you're fully representing that man and that's how, how'd you figure that that was going to be the lane you wanted to hit well shit g like at the end of the day too you know, we could still come with some other shit as well. Oh, like, no, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you're versatile, but, I mean, you push that G-Funk No, yeah I, yeah, I push the G-Funk more than anything else. Yeah. And, and, yeah, that that is, uh, if I had to choose a category, 
yeah. I'd probably run with that G Funk shit yeah. just because yeah, it, it it's smooth, bro. I, I love the smooth shit. I, I love that the bass lines. The starts funkiness. with being a fan of it. Huh? Starts with being a fan of it. Growing up listening to Warren G and fucking DJ Quick. I think it's DJ the bass lines for Pooh. me too. It's the bass yeah. lines. It's the you know what it is too. It's it's motherfuckers not sampling. No diss to my to every producer out there that samples shit. But once you hear an actual producer play the keys out, play the guitar actually be a musician with the shit and keep this shit funky and groovy or you uh, like or damn. even when they can't i've been in sessions like where they were like yo i need like a i need a horn on this bitch or a trumpet or a or a yeah, sax yeah. and they call cats in bro and you i've been in sessions where oh bro this is crazy and they're just playing live to the shit yeah, while the producers man. tell them okay I like that one. Let's try it this way now. And then they take the pieces and it's just a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. The creation thing, of it. Yeah, hey, I'm right with you on that, but I can't rap though. But you can, but I'm, <laughs> hey. I'm, I feel you. I'm the same. I, 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 I bet you probably got some G-fuck. bars on a drunk yeah. night. <laughs> on a drunk freestyling night. You got uh, some bars. Uh, you know how they say people like sing their best in the shower? Well, yeah. I think Shay probably dances. He says he dances his best in the show. Oh, no, no, hell no. I'd probably break my neck on Slippery. <laughs> <laughs> the way I do. <laughs> He's an orthodox. Now he might break something. Hey, hey but, you know, that. That's, I just want to mention because you, you represent that G-Fung hard, my G. No, no. Oh, yeah. Good good looking, G. And yes, yes I, I could say that I do, and I have been for a minute. And that kind of just brought me. To well, link up with cats like like Baby Nate Dog on, on certain hooks, you know, shout oh, out yeah. Inhale and Inhale, man, he's making Lil, Lil Nate. He's know. making oh, noise, yeah. yeah. And you, but you got and then working with the producers, like you were saying too, getting them live in your studio. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're actually like, for those that don't know too, Namek's like co-producing these tracks, writing hooks. Oh yeah, every, every, you're, every song. You're, hey, you're busting your harmonies now too, my G. Not that you weren't before. Oh, yeah, but now it's like but more you're than kicking ever. that. Yeah, you're kicking Straight that up. shit. I've been trying to sing. And yeah, shit, okay, yeah, like, yeah. But in, but not like no fucking Justin Timberlake shit. Yeah. Just like <laughs> enough to like. Or on that you Dove know, Shack vibe, like this. yeah, like some like smooth shit, just for yeah, a couple smooth, bars. Yeah. Hey, you get should, back to rap. You should grow a blonde afro, dog, like Justin Timberlake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. just to complete the look. No, I'm yeah, kidding. I'm kidding. I, I, I can still grow some hair. Out yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, could, I might just have I to. Could if I want. Hey, just he just wanted to set the record straight. If he wanted to grow hair, he could. I could, uh, motherfuckers. Yeah. Could. And people have been asking me that question lately too. Like, hey, can you still grow out fucking hair if you wanted to? I'm like, yes, for just fucking. I just like shaving my shit. Yeah. Hey, you know what? In my family, like it's it's inevitable for men most of the time, but it's either gray hair or going bald. Like when you get older, and like look, in my family, it was it's gray hair. I don't have like so I still have all my hair. It's just getting all gray now. So, but well, you know, it's not it's not like you're twenty no more. Yeah, so no, cool, you cool. You I'm know? the I'm the about new, that age. Yeah, I'm the new twenty. That's which right. Is way later. Yeah. So, <laughs> but. but <laughs> oh, but, but then you got to get a haircut and all that extra stuff. Like, so yeah, might as well just shave it off. That's why every two gotta, days, homie, just give me that the, zero real quick. Uh, throw some uh, fucking lotion I, on this. I'm going bitch, for beautiful. the. I'm going for the ghetto George Clooney look. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fucking <Okay. laughs> <laughs> 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 the bitch. <laughs> hey, hey. So, um, real quick, we're gonna get into the the rabbit rabbit fire round in yeah. a second. No, no. I, 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 real quick as well, dog. I just wanted to yes. just tie in this G Funk shit all together too, dog. Like, yes, this G Funk shit will never die. And I do go hard for it, and I appreciate everybody who still rocks out with this shit in 2021, keeping that shit real, and and never forgetting where the shit came from, dog. Cause the funk is in every fucking song ever created. Every melody is funky if you really think about it. If it's a real played out melody, then yes, it involves the funk. It in, and the funk involves the jazz, mm-hmm. and the jazz involves a soul and vice versa and all that shit man so like those are the roots of this music shit so everybody who still holds that shit down that real real shit i fuck with y'all especially yeah. like right. hip-hop i mean we've talked about it with some legends on the on the b-side show before and um hip-hop stems from all those things you mentioned put together it's the jazz the blues the you know the uh the, the soul, soul music yeah the oldies all that uh even classic rock and things combined Straight and then up. Yep. with the with the um, the drum patterns and then the scratching and all that stuff just makes it hip hop. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's dope, that's man. Right. Hey, so uh, real quick, you touched on it earlier, but you know, you, uh, the the homies from Buddy Boy, you got to work with uh, Coca. Coca, man, fucking yeah, yeah. the Carnal, and the now you're working with Hen G. Um, Big Hen, another legend, what, man. What's the plans, man? Oh, 
Uh, and before we get into the newest stuff, what's already out there, let them know the, the stuff that's out there already because yeah, yeah. I know uh, the quick story is I told you a couple of weeks ago I was bumping the Blackout 3 album and oh, it was yeah. in my ride. And uh, all of a sudden, I went to eject it to play another it, CD. It said, nope. No, nah, and that shit, I, it was in there for a good week strong, bro. Hell and yeah. you know, I don't like what's on the radio most of the time, so I was bumping it. I told you, I think I memorized half the CD already. That's so what's that's up. Was cool. Good shit. Yeah, Papa. that's yeah. that's out there though. For that's those that don't, know, shout out Jimmy Lokes. Hey, he's doing yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. He's doing dynamic impersonations in Vegas. He's like. Spitting yeah. all your lyrics and make you know, like a sick <laughs> fuck. Yeah. You get paid too, you motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know I'm wearing a mask. They can't tell. Nah. Just shave my head. That's, hey, that's the universe is helping you out real quick. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, let me give you this good music for a month straight. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, dog. But Jimmy Lokes, he, you know, put that together too. And yeah, Jimmy uh, Lokes, a lot of good like collabs on there. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of good ass um, collabs King on Crooked, there. King Crooked. What up, Crook? Oh, big, hell yeah. Big Crooked Eye on that Sloan one. Sloan Bone. Big Sloan Bone, you know. Shit, the homie Baldacci, the chill of Compton's most wanted. The chill. Oh, uh, who else we got? We got Big KD, baby, from the Lynch Mob. There you go. Oh, no K way, yeah. man. Yeah, I don't got, think I heard that song. Oh, man, it's called Just Chilling. I think it's number six on there. Number five or number six. Oh, also shit. featuring the homie Yog Westwood from Phoenix, right. Arizona. Okay. For, former buddy boy as well. So, you know, this cocaine thing is a. Uh, it's, it's expanding and never fucking stops, dog. You know, that, that's how I met Yog Westwood through cocaine as well. So, mm -hmm. this, the, the song with me, Yog, and, uh, and KD, what was it? Like, it's that's a summertime dope, anthem. Dope. Funky shit. Was and, and, and KD's oh, yeah, on his ventures. It's like people that are that, that love KD, like, it, yeah. you won't be disappointed. It's, and it's, for those who don't know who KD is, yeah. like, everybody's seen the movie Friday, right? I'm thinking everybody. I would in the hope world by now everybody Friday, has. Uh, it's been out so for you, like 30 years. So, you know, when these motherfuckers are high as fuck, drinking Kool Aid, and they're watching a music video, you know, when the motherfucking smooth as fuck on the music video, KD, another day, dollar. Mm -hmm. I love you, hear me. That's KD right there. Well, I know so K, that, uh, KD, uh, the freshest MC in the world. How about that? Oh, right? Yeah. Hey, um, it's the freshest MC, that song. Oh, oh yeah, dog. Oh, yeah, that shit. Back in the cash shit. I yeah, believe, that, yeah, I believe originally yeah, yeah. him. MC in the world. Oh, originally, man. I think that him and uh, that shit banging. That him and Cube was a, were like a group or a duo at one point. At one point, yeah, they did something. I, I, I know they went to high school together. Yeah, and all and they worked shit. together on stuff, and then and then uh, and then he uh, Cube featured KD on. On, on a his couple, joints yeah, then, on a yeah. couple joints. Uh, but that's some they even classic. got one with Bootsy Collins. Yeah. It's KD, Ice Cube, and Bootsy Collins. He's on that smooth flow. For those that don't know, another gem we're dropping, man. You guys go check some some music out. We're giving you a lot of gems tonight. Yeah, straight up, man. Uh, and, uh, that's on that Blackout Three once again. So yes, and, sir. and uh, King Crook on uh, we mentioned Slumber. Oh, and the homies from from Mexico, dog. Oh yeah, the, the homie. That uh, song's funky as shit. We got the MV song. Oh yeah, MV with uh, Remy Gonzalez. Yeah, Sonic. Sonic it, uh, yeah. featuring Sloan Bone on there as well uh, and as well as the homie Patrick Antonian who was oh, here last yeah, week that, me and uh, him got a banger that's a banger we were just Angeles. talking about that ooh, yeah. ooh, that's a motherfucking banger yeah, right yeah. there on some smooth shit yeah. right Ge there. Geeky Smooth in the building on, on, on a couple tracks on that shit too so shout out Geeky Smooth holding down right. Compton Hub Ge City Geeky Smooth too, right. got that energy bro and it's on that you, 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 you can tell because I know a lot of the people on that album so it's, it's good to hear that collab with everybody Working together, man. What Beautiful what else uh, you got out there for the people that don't know, man? Shit, right now, I'm going to say it's still recently released, man. There's no Dress Code LP, which is dropped on Thump Records, which is kind of crazy for me because I never thought I'd be signed to Thump. But we did this one project deal with Thump Records. Shout out Thump Records, Universal Music Group. And, of course, my homie Henji from Final Level, Art of Rap Latino. That album's actually right here. You see that shit right in front right now, man, featuring... I finally um, got my copy. You finally got the copy, dog. I had a copy, and I and I it, it's so banging that like by the time I opened it, someone jacked the CD out <laughs> of it before I could put uh, it in my CD dude. player. <laughs> 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 Real talk, but I have it now, so I'm bumping that you shit. Got it. Maybe we have ghosts or something. Rap too, yeah. so you know, no one took that shit. Yeah, yeah. But that one features shit. The homie Fetty Demarco, who's actually oh Ice T, uh, Ice T and uh, Henji are working with him, right? Yeah, he, well, he yeah, he's Ice T's protege, but he's there actually you go. he's actually uh, Tookie Williams, like the the original crib. Uh -huh. It's Tookie Williams' nephew. Okay. So he's getting, you know, he's co-signed by Ice T, doing mad things right now. He's featured on the album along with my homie M Dot, also part of Final Level Music. Yeah, oh, yeah I remember M Dot yeah, Taylor. M Dot holding it down. 
got the homie YBE, YB holding the shit down for the 626 as well. Mm-hmm. I'm oh, doing, doing mad things for the last side right now, so shout out YB. What up, dog? Yeah. Uh, who else on this motherfucker? We got the homie Sloan Bone, that almighty Mo Thugs in Harmony. Um, CC the Mamacita, you know, she, she uh, her and the homie Romeo from K Day. Yeah. They're on the track as well. J Cruz from 92.3. And, uh, I know there's someone else. I don't know if I'm forgetting. Oh, Bo Rock from the Dove Shack, man. Big yeah. up Bo Rock, dog. You know? He actually hooked me up with some shit, bro. Because, you know, I, I did that summertime in, in the SGV. SGV. Yeah, that's right. But he heard that shit and actually hooked it up with the remix. He was like, yo, I'm down to do a, I'm, I'm down to sing that shit for you. So I did the original one. or I guess you could call it the remix because it, it is a remix of the original LBC. But this fool did a remix of the remix. And ended up singing Summertime in, in the SG oh, yeah, for me, dog. Sick, so bro. big up Bullrack from Bull Rock from yeah. the Dove Shack. Actually like changing up the letters for your boy from the LBC to the SGV and co signing that one. So I, I appreciate that's a that big shit, that's too. a big look right yeah. there. Yeah, that yeah. shit was crazy. I, I didn't I didn't think he was gonna be down to do it, but I guess real that's, recognized. That's real crazy because we were just talking about Casino earlier. Uh, I remember seeing him at one of his events. Like uh, I saw oh, Bo yeah. Rock. Oh yeah. I, I just I didn't I, didn't, I look over oh, yeah. and Bo Rock's right next to me ro- rolling something up. I'm like, oh shit! Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't even realize it at first. I'm like, fuck, this Bo Rock from the yeah. I was always rolling something. Yeah, yeah it's oh, twisted yeah. up if you got it. Hey, and what else? What are the other albums out though too? You got more than that, man. Oh yeah, shit. There's always the older shit, you know. Fucking Namifest Destiny, this is a Nam's world. Y'all need to go pick up that Namifest Destiny, actually. Me and the homie Cocaine, we fucking That shit's hard. That's got the that's the one that got that joint with Razkaz that I like. Yeah, that we were talking about. I like that joint. Right has there. Razkaz on it, has Roscoe the dog pound. Well, I mean the whole Russell shit's hard. I'm just saying, like I I, I no, that yeah. joint's hard, dog. Like Nah, good looking. Yeah. And and that's really kind of what like solidified like people knowing me as a G Funk cat. Coca kind of brought me up on that one. Every beats G Funky is a motherfucker on that one. So, yeah. And I'm something about being go in there, like one. you said earlier, just being in the studio and being able to help produce, because I know you do, coming up with concepts for hooks and melodies. And then yeah. you have you can have someone come in and play a bass line live. Like, you yeah, don't got to just play it off the fucking dog. Yeah. Hey, since we on the podcast and we're really getting in depth right now, yeah. you're talking about bass lines. Check this one out, dog. So. The, the song that I got with Roscoe and the song where I mentioned y'all and, and I'm talking about where I met Battle Cat right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So on both of those tracks, fucking the the homie who does the bass line, Big Payback, Mr. Payback. I don't know if you know him. Oh, yeah. Bass, yeah. He's the one who fucking does the, the bass line. Yeah. On, oh, I see him on Instagram. I, uh, pay, yeah. yeah. You know, the Indo Smoke Warren G and shit. <laughs> Like and that's the illest bass line I ever fucking heard in my life, dog. And yeah. he plays a lot of bass for Ice Cube. For, I think he's done some shit with Kendrick hey, and shit, dog. And but shout out to uh, Mr. Grim Two Six Two Six Original yeah, Representative. West Covina, well. that's what's up, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Indo Smoke track. West right Cove, yeah. This ain't no stress. It's the motherfucking in no smoke. smoke. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's what's Classic up. shit right there. Classic I remember shit. going to the. That's the homie from school and everything back in the day. And I remember going. I used to be like one of them cats like well, I mean I still always obviously do my music research and try to check new shit but I was one of them cats that would always be at like Tower Records or wherever it was. Yeah, yeah. And I remember going there one day and I see the single <clears throat> from the Poetic Justice soundtrack I believe and then oh, that was I it. go damn that's the homie right there. I said I rec- I said what the fuck so I Yeah, classes it. with him and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, all that dog <laughs> we used to walk to school and shit and then I I go damn dog and then uh, you know and I was like that's all right. Dope, dog. Got to I'm, I'm I, I bet that felt good yeah. especially like back then like what the Yeah, cuz I'm like I'm a hip hop head so and then when I see anybody I know even if I knew him through hip hop first or not like I'm happy when someone's doing something, you know what I mean? And you know what was dope as fuck about that song at the very end when I was little as fuck, barely kind of knowing what was up with this music shit. At the very end of that song, they say, Oh, Nate Dogg. It's like one of them little chopped, or the opposite of the chopped and screw with the high pitched voice. Oh, N- Nate Dogg coming all the way from Long Beach, linked up with the homies from West Coast Vena. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. That. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And just hearing West Coast Vena. Oh, that's the in that then, voice like, that oh, Warren yeah. G used to throw on his tracks. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The G child. This is the G child. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Hey, and on that note, I gotta take a G piss. You know, well, he was inter- hey, you ain't cool. Dynamic. You <laughs> ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Yeah. What's uh, that from? Uh, what was that? What is that? That's uh, what movie? You ain't cool unless you pee your pants. 
It's when the homie's trying to back up his homie for pissing his pants, and he pisses his pants. He's like, hey, everybody pisses their pants because we cool. I don't know, but you're... Well, I probably didn't see it because I would have known right away. It's motherfucking... I'm a movie uh, guy. So. It's, it's either... You sounded it's, it's, like it's, Matthew McConaughey. It's, it's fucking Billy Madison, dog. Billy uh, Madison? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I have seen but it was so long ago. Damn, I don't remember that. Like, hey. yeah. And I, I'm good at that stuff, too. I, I, I thought that, that was your Matthew that. McConaughey <laughs> impression, dog. No, nah, I was like... <laughs> What's oh, the, what, it was what's his Adam Sandler impression. Yeah, yeah that, that was by Adam Sandler. But the, the McConaughey impression is fucking. Yeah. Hey, I wish you. Do you, you got a joint? Oh yeah. You'd be a lot cooler cool. if be you be a lot cooler yeah. if you did. That's, yeah. that's that's my motherfucker. That's classic impression. movie line right there. Lot cooler you, if you, you be did. A lot cooler Days of if you did. Oh, you got to wait, yeah, bro. Or or they they get older. I stay the same <laughs> age. <laughs> yeah, or no, they stay the same. I'm sorry, I didn't do it right. <laughs> I get older, they stay, they stay the, the same, same age. age. Yeah, yeah. He, said, piece of he shit. said they get older. <laughs> this food. I stay the same age. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck for, you, hey, for, Benjamin for any, Button. For anybody who. Hey, for that for, for that little quote right there, go fucking watch that movie Days and Confused. Yeah, that yeah, shit's no, classic, 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 right classic. We have that in our fucking video selection at the crib, dog. Of course, you gotta. That's classic, like Friday. Mm-hmm. You know, m- m- uh, movies like that, bro. Just yeah. in the. In that genre. Hey, um, mention, uh, you know, you were saying some of the people you got to work with, but uh, before you, any of us forget, your producers, man. You work with oh, a lot yeah. of cool ass. Thank you, dog. Yeah, for sure. Dope ass cats. Talented. Yeah, talented homies who, who, yeah. Don't do, who don't get enough credit, dog. Once again, my homie Frankie Valentine, who holds me down from production to engineering to mixing and mastering. You know, that, that fool's a fucking genius. As well as my homie Garrett Hoy, dog. Big up Garrett. The fucking pretty much when I met. I was this gonna fool, say he has some of that funky ass shit. He right, made a lot of the shit for me in cocaine. Yeah, he makes a lot of shit for me to this day, dog. But when I first met his ass, I pretty much thought he was a a twenty two year old DJ Quick just trapped in a white dude's body, dog. Like the shit that yeah. he made, I was like, damn, this motherfucker reminds me of Quick. Yeah, and you know he gravitated. Yeah, like if you like to what dog. you're saying on like you know he, he's not. Um, you wouldn't equ- <laughs> if you p- put his music next to him and see like you, the person you would yeah, you yeah. wouldn't automatically assume he produced that shit. Yeah, you would think he's and there's no disrespect. Yeah, 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 like you yeah. would be. So, yeah, same for Frankie too. Frankie was a little rocker at first. Yeah, and shit, but these fools make some of the illest hip hop records uh-huh. that you could fucking think of. Is a beautiful thing. It's just fucking dope. Like, yeah, there's a lot of collabs and, like and that. And never judge a book by its cover. Exactly. Papa. There's yeah. a lot of collabs like that though, bro. I've yeah. seen some crazy cats get in the studio like. Yeah, and you're thinking like, oh, somebody, uh, I don't know who's at the door, whatever, and then ne- he's carrying something. Next thing you know, he's one of the instrument players, yeah, yeah. like a regular cat, or would look like a detective or some shit, uh-huh. and comes in and just plays the shit out of an instrument and kills it for your song. You know what I mean? Or even like some of these engineers who are mastering your shit, yeah. like straight up nerds, but they they're the ones making your shit sound crispy. It as could a be like a, it, it's crazy. It could be like a 75 year old man, bro, but they know hip hop sounds like they yeah, know sonic yeah. waves. Of Hip hop is yeah. crazy, bro. The decibels, yeah, like, like yeah, they they does. fucking like oh master your shit. And they, it's like this guy don't he's not gonna go home and probably bump hip hop, but he knows he wants to make your music quality, and that's enough for me. And for him, it's like work. He's like, all right, yep. I'm, I'm on the nine to five. Fuck this hip hop shit. For us, it's like the opposite. Mm-hmm. We're on the nine to five, and then we go home into hip hop yeah. shit or whatever, whatever it may be, dog. But mm-hmm. for cats like that, it's like, oh, we on this dumbass hip hop shit. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure it fucking sounds good. Then they go home bumping their whatever it may be. And then it might, and then they go home and it's their son or grandson bumping the shit later. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but it's still just music. It like reminds you of somebody like Rick Rubin. Uh, like he was doing yeah. all kinds of different genres of music, but he doesn't look like a hip hop head. But you that produce some other right sick uh, hip hop. That right fool will be sitting Indian style, with barefooted, with a long beard. Meditating. Yeah, like play, playing some of the illest shit you ever heard. Uh, hey, um, so let's get into man. This is the you know where we kind of tail off though the. I can't even get this shit right now, but it's the, the rabbit fire oh, round. Shit. Here we go. Just we're just some random questions, just some way out shit, random. Some of it's random, some of it's hip hop. But like for example, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Okay, Pepsi for me. Okay. Uh, here, huh? All right. So let, let me go real quick next, and then finish your Coke. Okay. So Coke or weed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, you don't have to answer. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we'll the fi- yeah, mix them together. <laughs> Fuck it. Do what we used to do. Yeah, do <laughs> <Go> innovate. <ahead. laughs> All right. We, fa- motherfucker. Fa- yeah, favorite too. candy bar, man. I got to give you two. 
I got a few. I got three or four. Go ahead. Well, of course, Snickers is probably everybody's fucking number one. That's somewhere on my list, yeah. yeah. I guess that would be on most people. I must like the the peanuts because motherfucking Payday is probably like number two. Oh, I like peanut M&Ms. That's on my list. So that's, I, I agree. So probably Snickers and, uh, and Payday. All right. My number yeah. one, though, is my number one is still Twix. All right. What about you? Oh, uh, my number one for sure. Fucking, I buy them almost every day. or And even my lady just buys them randomly. Reese's. Peanut butter cups. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cups. Well, they're not candy bars, fool. Well, uh, oh, well, they're still. Nah. Oh no. Okay. Well, no, how about no. The Reese's can... sticks. They're yeah. Sticks. They're like... Oh, there you go. No, then. no. The, the, the peanut butter cups qualify. No, trust like, me. Hey, dude, I love those. And then Snickers. Uh, I'm more of like a fucking Starburst, like sweet tarts. Oh, like, like not shit. chocolate. Yeah, like. Oh, not, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like. Yeah, more oh, I like shit. Skittles. If we're going there, yeah, then sour, Skittles. Sour Skittles, my shit. Yeah, Skittles are oh, the yeah. shit. Okay. And of course, fucking all the Mexican th- candies and oh, shit. Oh man, like, those don't are get the, me started. Those but, are the bangers. As a matter of fact, are, fuck chocolate bars. Yeah, give me all the fucking tamarindo fucking filled candies you can. Bro. The little ones with the uh, the with the watermelon flavor with the little chili on it. I don't know yeah. what the name. Oh, motherfuckers are good right there, dog. Wow. All right, so they won. All the Mexican candies won. Yeah. Uh, favorite actors, man. I got a few also on this list. I'll go mm. you, if you want me to go first. I'll go first. Nah, I, I go first. Okay. I guess. Uh, what's <laughs> I forgot his name though. <laughs> <laughs> he's my what's favorite his character's actor? name there. Yeah, he's, <laughs> the, 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 the he's all Hector. No, like, he's all Hector. <laughs> the guy. Fucking a, a no LG dog. Yeah. Uh, nah, not nah, uh, fuck. Forrest Whitaker. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the homie with the lazy eye. Yeah, yeah. hey, I like that. Me, indica sativa. Uh, yeah, oh, when oh, I, man. have you nah. seen that? One? You oh, had to man. go there. Uh, that, that's a meme. Forrest Whitaker is a sick ass actor. No, he is no, talented. Fucking, uh, he's a director too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he directs yeah. too. Of course, Jim Carrey, dog. That fool would always oh, make me laugh. Oh shit, I dog. forgot about him on my list. You know, he is up there. Rest in peace, Chris Farley. That fool always made me laugh back in the oh, day with that yeah. Beverly Hills Ninja yeah. shit. Yeah, he yeah, was a like genius. That. I like laughing, comedic dog, genius. You know? I yeah. like laughing. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm, I got a Jack Nicholson on my list. Yeah, he's, I, you know. he's legendary. There's to so me. many, you know. Uh, and I got a, a Sean Penn. He's dope. I think he's a dope actor, bro. Like everything he's been in, like he's dope. he makes you believe he's that fucking guy, dog. So yeah, yeah him. Yeah. And uh, who else I got on there? Yeah, just, yeah. Um, like on newer. I mean, I don't know if they're newer, but a couple newer ones are are. Uh, Edward Norton's also really dope. He's dope. Convincing and Fight then, Club was dope. Yeah, and that dude. Um, now I'm forgetting a name. Fuck the guy. Um, Barrel Gary Comics. <laughs> <laughs> no, Todd Bridges. <laughs> Emmanuel Lewis, <laughs> uh, uh, fuck! I, I'll, you have any Shay, and I'll think of the guy. Well, name. like off off top, like I, I, I honestly don't really have top fear, but off top, like I, I'll say yeah. Harrison Ford because he's Han Solo. <laughs> there you and, go. Uh, there you go. And uh, hey, you, you, you ever seen his drunk pictures? Oh he's yeah, yeah. <laughs> I seen some of those. Mike. Oh, yeah. um, I, I, no, the best so dude drunk though is uh, I'm sorry to go here, but I Gary think, Busey. No. The guy was it when his daughter caught him eating a fucking cheeseburger. Oh, David Who, Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff. Who oh, was all faded talking to his dad. She fine. He was eating a cheeseburger and his daughter's telling him, you need to stop drinking. She caught it and put it on social media, bro. It was fucking, dude. I was like, that's great. I was like, like goals. If I'm gonna get faded, I want to be like that. All right, but <laughs> oh, no. And then just, oh, just a couple yeah, more off, who, off who top. I think is who, Bruce who, Willis because it seems like every movie he's been in, I like. There you Every go. movie's been, and then he's also solid, he's solid he just one. like was a, a, a legit action hero. He was he's dope. dope. He's dope. He's kind of played the same character in every movie, but all the movies were dope. Kind of no, like fucking Keanu Reeves. But he didn't yeah. always, bro. Yeah. When he first came out, he was also on a TV series. Oh, back Moonlighting, in the day. yeah. But that was a popular. No, show but too. he acted like he was a regular guy, yeah. and and he came and he off. But, an so every hero, yeah. I give it to you, he, he plays characters like he could be a regular ass guy, and yeah. he plays it well. And the last one, Kiefer Southern, because some of the fa- like <laughs> Lost Whoa. Boys, Twenty Four, some of my oh, favorite. Lost, Lost Boys is my Lost favorite yeah, movie. He was in dog. some dope shit. So yeah. I know that shit word for Stand word by for me. the most part. Oh, that shit. That's what's up, so, and of course, right. of course, we can't forget about the OGs and all the mafia movies, the Joe Pesci's, the De Niro's, the yeah, fuck, right, yeah. you know. Hey, who's the guy? You guys help me. I think he played the new, the newest Psycho. He's been in a lot of movies, but I can't think of his name right now. He was on that movie about a fighter. 
he, he was. Oh, the you're brother. talking about uh, Christian Bale. There you go. Oh, Batman yeah. new. Batman. There you go. Batman. I fucking really couldn't good. think that of his name. Sick. That fool's a good no, actor. Yeah. That fool lost a lot of weight yeah, for we just for them, like fucking skinny yeah. as fucking one, and then buff as fucking. Yeah, the other and for one, the like, Batman, he got yoked, and then for the other one, like, Joaquin got, like, Phoenix you know? did that shit too. He, he, yeah. You go from fat to being like emaciated see, or whatever they see, call it. See, motherfuckers actually take this shit serious. Oh yeah, like, that's yeah. that's what's up. If if you're yeah. able to contort they, your body and make yourself look like that, that, yeah, like to hey, even that dude like on that. on the Mayans, bro. I was reading um and 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 you know, quick shameless plug here, but when he first started acting, he was on the B side show by Richard Cabral, um, on uh, one of the stars of the Mayans now okay. for to play that role. Like he's supposed to be like a, a junkie uh, yeah. type. Um, oh yeah, 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 he he lost a gang of weight, and so he could look emaciated. They call it like you know, like where you're you know sucked up and shit. Yeah. And he did that for the role, bro. And it, I was reading an article about it. So this shit's serious shit, man. When you're entertaining people, it's a serious craft, bro. Or don't get into it, you know. Fuck straight up. Man. Yeah. Crazy. All right. Oh wait, I got a I got a couple more. Uh, 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 let me see. What else? What, else? what do I got here? Uh, Shay, you got any real quick? Oh, um, Chinese food or Italian food. Thai food. Thai? That wasn't one of the choices of the... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I guess it could oh, be okay. considered... Asian food then, okay. It could I be considered you. closer to... Yeah. Well, so so I would, I would... Spicy Chinese food then, that's Thai food. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. Or, or, and then what about, like, uh, do you, would you rather watch a movie or watch a series? Like, when you have time to watch something. A documentary. Sometimes. It's not an answer. It's not one of the no, answers. No, it is, because <laughs> a documentary is a movie, because sometimes a series is too much. Like, you got to catch yeah. up on documentary the Documentary counts... I, okay, I, I, that's I'm the judge on this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll watch a series though if it's a good one, and all of them are already out. I ain't trying to wait no other fucking week to fucking wait okay. for one. Shit. All right, one more Marvel yeah, or DC. Uh, I never really got too deep into that yeah. shit. I wasn't dog. sure if you were into that or not, but but I would say whoever, whoever, whoever Batman's at, dog. Which that's one is DC? He? Okay, yeah. how about Batman this? Batman gang. And this is not a sexual innuendo, dog, but <laughs> cake or pie. This is like if you act, <laughs> if you actually like sweets. This is not, you know. Sometimes pie. my mind's drifting right pie. now too. I'm thinking cake, pie. All right, but wait, pie, no, pie. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think pie. mine's cake, and this is yeah. yeah. If it, uh, all right, so key, key lime pie. Yeah, key that's lime. Your that's your top one. <laughs> Probably. Hey dog, there's a lot. I, I still have a sweet tooth, even though I'm old now. Like, <laughs> fuck, bro. I like, I like, like I'll go to, I'll get the strawberry pie or the chocolate cream pie mm. they got a new one a blueberry double cream pie if you ever tried that for marie calendar's dang it's because it's because marijuana affects the sweet tooth yeah <laughs> well i guess i've been smoking Ding. some bomb ass shit because i've been eating nothing but like not nothing but but motherfucking bubble gum flavor ice cream dog what? i don't really? know what the fuck where's just, that from I, now i want to try it i got the munchies right i've just now. been getting the little chiclet favor shit you know like fucking i'm out to go the, i'm out to go little, you know i was talking about the, the chiclet favor fucking ice creams and shit we just inspired alex from the liquor stores and shit you know, <laughs> you know. Uh, he's, he's gonna go pick some up right now it goes goes good with beer hey wow. uh, um how about this one and you know both of them um even though you were probably very young when they came out but uh Doggy style or America's Most Wanted? <laughs> I thought he was going somewhere else with that at first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this is not a sexual innuendo either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, doggy I'm style a- or America's Most Wanted? Well, simply because of the fact that I'm more on that smooth shit, I got to go doggy style. Okay. I, I go America's Most Wanted just because, like, Cube is somebody, like, always just influenced me i like this nah, music and i can't disagree with that even when, you, even when he go either way yeah even when he separated like all the time like i grew up around that time when he separated from nwa and still nah. came out though i i just go hey, with, with me with between those two i would probably say doggy style but if you said lethal injection and doggy style i'd probably say lethal injection i, I was trying, my favorite ice i was cube trying albums. to go with debut albums Dude, though, that's my favorite but, ice cube album is lethal injection that that shit is just oh no that's a that's a sick album man right. so all right. Well, on that note, do you have a uh, favorite one of like your favorite albums of all time? My favorite album, or I'll, you know, I'll, anything that just a, comes to a, mind a, off a, top? Yeah, a, a few. Well, of course, Dog Food, bro. Okay. Yeah, oh, me too, that bro. shit me was too. hard. That's dog. my shit. Yeah. That's my shit. That's a classic. E- e- even more than like a. People say all eyes on me, dog. But I'm like Dog Food just because I love Dog Pound. Yeah, so this much. Is a couple and weeks and ago, huh? With you know West Haven. And you know what? On that note, um, I think now that you say that. I think that dog food album gets uh, overlooked 
when it comes to classic albums. It does. People don't mention that one enough. Because You're right about that. It's because there's no like Tupac ain't on it or like there ain't like anybody else except Daz and Corrupt, I think, right? On the well, with just, you know, with, of course, Nate Dogg, Superfly. Oh, the, the, oh, yeah, but they're, yeah. they're Dog Pound. They're all Dog yeah. Pound Snoop. But yes, other yes, than yes, that, no. yeah, it wasn't. Like there wasn't like another like major well, type of thing. And then plus, shit. it's still an album you can literally listen to all the way through. All if the it way repeats, through. you can oh, listen to real, it again. All like, the way yeah, through. Yeah. And that, those are the type of albums and I some love. Some Dr. Dre though. production on it, too. Some Dre shit. Of course. Some Daz. Some, some, some Quick. I think, I think Quick is even on that production. Is he on right. that one? If not, then I know he probably did some mixing and mastering. Yeah. He, yeah. He's always a part of Or played an instrument or something. Yeah. But but that one for sure. Motherfucking dog dog food. Um on a more of an underground tip the abstract rule paint the paint album changed my life dog all so right I, I can i'm never, glad you said that bro because i can never forget that so, album, sometimes dog. that's an that, that's a one that might get uh overlooked sometimes when talking about that i'm glad you said that because yeah. uh yeah and and that he was an impact on your your career that you're still you know going through and and even like when i was with battle cat a couple weeks ago at hengie's pad it was me battle cat dj evil e Johnny from West Coast Creations and the homie Crush. And, uh, you know, Battlecat's kind of picking my brain and shit and kind of just letting them know my influences. And once I said Abstract Rude, Mike and I, Freestyle Fellowship, Blowed, he was like, ooh, he was like, okay, it's going to be fun. So, you know, what's up? Like, th those, those are the OGs. Like, so it's good to know that he knows what's up with these fools and everybody kind of kind of knows what's up i guess if you're if you were around at that time and at that age or whatever but it's just a, a reassuring feeling to know that battle cat and cats like that know what's up with my ogs from the blood and the the underground homies who really don't get the props that they really do deserve you know? and you know what and that's always uh, one of the funnest parts of the creative process whether when you're collabing with someone on any level and we've done it here on the show plenty of times, whether it's getting artwork done here, graphics yeah. done, what up, um, working with DJs, different shit, creating a show. We've been part of live shows too. But that initial process of picking each other's brain yeah. and then deciding how you, that's, it's like an exciting part, man. I could feel it for you. I know it's going to be dope to work with Battle Cat. I can't wait to hear the, yeah, the music yeah. you guys do. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I guess a couple classics for me is like Southern Playlist at Cadillac Music. Oh, yeah. How can you um, forget? How can we forget? I'm, I'm just trying to name a couple that like kind of changed where I went. Oh, uh, Big Daddy Kane, dude, like his first album. See, a lot of people, you and do your research on this, and then you'll realize, yeah, this motherfucker's old. Yeah, I am. But the thing is, is like these are cats that really influenced me to stay with hip hop, bro. Like LL Cool J. Oh, um, still relevant. The to this bad day. album, not even his first one, but the bad. I, I don't even think I was born. He caught mm. he caught flack because he was coming out. So, but that's part of hip hop. But bro, that's still so classic to me. So like bad, uh, Big Daddy King. I think it was a Big Daddy thing is his first album. Um, Ice Cube, America's Most Wanted, uh, uh, Reasonable Doubt. Oh yeah, and so, then Southern Playlist at Cadillac Music. If I was to say one more too. Yeah, go for it. Because it really, it's the first CD I ever bought. DJ Quick, Balance and Option. Oh, shit. The year 2000. Yeah. Classics on that. And that's when I was like 11, 12, 11 years old when I started just kind of like knowing, like, oh, this shit is quality. Yeah. This shit is quality. Fucking right. this one is sick as fuck. With you know? real production on this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shout out. What Quick about you? Studio. Oh, I got like off top, like, dude, and this is before you were born too uh, i even know <laughs> 1989 you know, oh yeah 1989 okay, right. dude i was in junior high i was born Bro, in 89 so. fucking the doc no no one can oh, do it better I forgot oh. that out. no that one can out. do it better the doc anybody like, listening that's dude. a youngster on this album i don't this, care and that still holds up if you no, listen to it now it holds I'm up saying now. That. Like, that's what i'm saying right now go fucking go check that album out the right. doc no one could do it better definitely Ooh. one of my favorites um Dog all Food, the way like through you said um so of course the chronic that's always you know but um cypress hills first album and oh, also shit. um cypress. and also uh one more up. oh liquid swords jizz of liquid Ooh. swords so like those ones are just Whoa. yeah uh, we were fucking talking some real hip-hop right here dog well even like red man shit for like this shit don't stop oh i know so much classic we're so many more but you know yeah. okay see that that's when we signify like 
okay, at some point, Namek's going to be back on this podcast because we got we can just talk hip hop all day. Yeah, so man, we're going to do that, man. So we'll uh, go go ahead and let them know uh, where they can get at you. Uh, check out what you got going on and what's coming up, man. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Always, you already know at Namek six two six N A M E K six two six on everything: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You know, YouTube, YouTube actually at Namek C A six two six. And just stay updated with that shit. Also got the Namic Vivo page on, on YouTube. And that's everything that I do with Thump Records. So check that shit out too, man. Like, got a couple different outlets now. So shit, upcoming shows though. My birthday show on May 22nd in the city of Bakersfield. So Raider Nation summer kickoff. Shout out my boy Lorenzo holding that shit down. We got a Raider fucking Raider legend already. He's still a youngster, but he's already a Raider legend. Max Crosby. He's coming uh-huh. through. You know, doing a little meet and greet. We'll be chilling with him for a while. Nice. What's that date again? May 22nd. Oh. Your, your boy's tw- 21st birthday, dog. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I've been celebrating my 21st for like a 20 years now, dog. I, I, I just aged myself by saying I was in junior high when the DOC's <laughs> album came out. I so, know. yeah, I can't, I can't even front anymore. I aged myself, too. <laughs> Fuck it. That, that's something that I shouldn't be doing, either. Yeah. It is what it is. Ooh, ooh. No, nah, but, hey, that's May 22nd. Then May 29th, we got it at the Wire Lounge with Lazy Bone. Shout out my boy, Battle Ravs, you know, as well as uh, Mario and everybody else right there involved with, with the Wire Entertainment. I'll be opening up for Lazy Bone that day. What up, homies? Yes, sir. What else we got? Actually, May 16th at Whittier Narrows. I'm doing a little barbecue with the homie Ink Junkies. Shout out Ink Junkies. I'll be right there. I'll probably spit a few bars and shit. Just be wilding out right there. A little car show barbecue shit right there at Whittier Narrows. For everybody who knows who's up with that. In the city of uh, is that it's South Del Monte slash Woodier and shit? I think that is. Yeah, it? yeah, right there. Yeah, it's a so, big area, so it's probably yeah, it's probably through the few cities. That's what we got cracking right now, though. I know there's more shit in the summer. Um, I can't even really remember. Summertime. Dog. But, but real the shit. SGB. The next wild. big shit, man, is this fucking EP with Battle Cat, West Coast Creations, Hanji, Auto Rap Latino. Let's go, baby. I can't wait for it, man. I can't wait, man. I want to hear that shit. That's some shit. That's from, that's some shit. Like like you say, man, put that shit out there. Manifest it, man. Put it out in the universe when you want something. Then work for it. Obviously, you got to work for it. You can't just put it out like, you know what? I want to win the lottery today. I ain't going to... Like, manifest the shit make it happen put in the work but yeah, yeah. you've been uh putting that in the atmosphere for a cool minute bro and now it's happening man you're gonna work with the legend battle cat and that's dope i can't wait to hear the music it, it's something great man it's, it's something beautiful I'm, yeah. I'm very blessed and at the same time working with other artists too and still doing my thing like like you know i got the single with bella me and bella got a new single called what up Keep little homie poppin'. bella yeah man she, yeah. She, she's doing her thing shout yeah. out erica bnb entertainment that's the, so it's always good right networking with other people especially you know the right now dog i i feel like give me a, one, one or two more minutes but i just oh, to wrap it up at dog. this like, point I don't, as I, long as i don't pee myself again all right we could yeah. I, just, I just feel like networking with the right people at this time and knowing what the fuck I really want and feeling comfortable with myself. Because before I felt like I wasn't where I wanted to be. Yeah. So I, f- I felt like I had to, like, bring myself up before I was, like, trying to, like, bring someone else up or, or network with someone else and try to, like, like come up together. You know, I, I felt like I had to be at a certain level where I felt comfortable enough to be like, all right, I'm able to do it now. You know? So that's that's where I feel I, at now. And it's that's, just, a, that's a no, – that's normal, bro. I mean, I'm still the same way. Even, um, you know, I'm almost ready for my walker soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but, you know, I, I mean, I'm mean, i young. Even when I'm, even when I have a walker, dog, I'm going to dance on that bitch. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a, like a handspin on my walker. Uh, he's he's going to do like a, he's going to like do a handstand on the yeah, walker. Yeah, on the walk in front of everybody. Like dog. He's going to be straight up in the Let my like, gray like, hair hang, walk. dog, all that. But, <laughs> but, but, uh, but yeah, dog, I feel like, um, uh, that's the thing, dog. Like you, like we were saying, put it out in the atmosphere first keep that energy and then get it where you're where you're comfortable and then it's easier to let the world hear it i mean but you know it's been we've been on the journey with you bro because i've been seeing you for a long time and, uh, and much love to you yeah man. Uh, appreciate so, you always always have my back dog since i met you motherfucker. oh yeah since first time i came in here it's always been love hey, how, how could we not man it, it, you're bringing up you know our area as well and 
which like we started off the show with it it, it gets overlooked and it's dope because you and your fam from like our fam like you know like our good friends like like jessica and stuff that knew you from when you were a kid oh like yeah, you know bro. like that even That's that you know started, like yeah, Jeanster, she was like oh hey you know like Jess- i know him you know oh, man Jeanster. Yeah. mean jeans mean Jean. yeah. and and jessica shit man like I was in motherfucking probation school, and then the homegirl who was a, a part of the family right here actually worked at that probation school, and she encouraged Namik to to keep my hip hop thing going yeah. when I was like a senior in high school, about to graduate from that probation school. I remember just, her just, asking us one time, and that's when we were first knowing about you and shit. You, I think we had like a in store back here in the back of the shop, and you were you were rocking with with some other cats and doing different stuff. But I remember oh, yeah. ask her asking us. Hey, you know that guy? And then I think she said your real name at first. And like, Joseph? Yeah, and at first I didn't even know you. I mean, now I know, but I mean, I, I didn't know at the time. And I'm like, I go, you, I go, Jessica, you got to do better. Like, we don't, <laughs> we, I don't know everybody's first name. I'm kidding. But I, I said, no, nah, who's that? And then she go, oh, I think he goes by Namek. And she's saying, oh, yeah. I, I go, he's dope. I just seen him rock. She's all, oh my God, you know, and you know, she talks and she's telling me like the the story and it was, it was cool, man, man, you know, and, and, uh, it's inspiring again because you even went and like, see, I guess we're going a couple more minutes, but you even went and got to go back and speak to some of the, oh yeah, she asked me to speak to the kids at the place somewhere where you had to go through and worked your way out of. So I do that shit every Christmas around, around the holiday season. I I go back to the placement. I talk to them. I let them know like, Hey, this you know there's yeah. other things out there's there. other things that like if you really want to accomplish something like stick to the books on me yeah you know and then that's what it is as simple if, as that, that if you want to make some money or you know uh do do so or, or if you just like you know robbing and killing people that's, that's cool i know, mean it's not what, cool do, but you like, know do what, what I mean? you do yeah. homie, but if you want to be like your big homie in there and uh wait for a conjugal visit and shit yeah, like yeah, that like yeah, go ahead yeah, go ahead yeah. and do your thing yeah, yeah. 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 and you know what you, man. Man, it's on you. and you know what and again and and again this is only uh, like being older and speaking to youth and stuff i've done it before too and it's like um you have choices that you you make now that will affect the rest of your life and it's like yeah. how do you want to spend it and you know what caught me because i was doing you know go on the wrong path for quite a while too and again music helped steer me a different way but um one of the th- one of the things that got me bro i'm one of them people still like i get in arguments with, with my mom still my lady like i i don't like being told what to do <laughs> so <laughs> so i never did even as a little kid i so i like oh, doing, put the toilet seat down yeah like oh, I, I like doing <laughs> i like doing what i'm gonna do and and having the freedom to do it yeah. and you go to jail, they tell you what to do. So that that was the one that got me. Yeah, I was like, that, that's the tell I you when to eat. They tell I you when in, to wake up. I went in a couple times and I said, ah, this ain't for me. I must try to stay out of this motherfucker, dude. So that's what I did. At the end of the day, to each his own. Mm-hmm. But like, come on now. You know what you really want to be. You want to yeah. be on the outs, homie. So stay on the outs. Yeah. Get on your shit. Let's get it. And then we could all make money. Yeah. Hey, thank you for coming through, my brother, man. Ooh, ooh. This dude's really doing his thing right now. Uh, follow Namek. Um, if you haven't already, a lot of you that are going to listen to this know what he's doing. But uh, he's only going higher and higher. And, and I mean that in uh, literal and uh, in every sense of the word. We're yeah, getting high tonight. One, but, yeah, right? <laughs> toke one up. But he's going uh, higher with the music. And uh, uh, it's been a pleasure to watch the journey. So thanks for coming through. Much Namek, man, up. Rabbit Season Podcast. Shout out to my brother for producing. We'll be back right, next week same. like we always do. Peace. Come on now.